Today I've been reflecting on how my work has evolved throughout the years. Initially I served you through analysis, through systems like human design and the gene keys, in an attempt to help you gain a clearer understanding of yourself and what you're here to do and to enjoy. Very quickly though, you've witnessed how that emphasis transformed, how it matured into a far more educational intent. The Forgotten Sense is a beautiful example of this movement. And even beyond that, you, you were, many of you, witnesses of how that, again, transformed in the development of the crystal self experience. Here is a far more creative, far more immersive, uh, far more involved experience. This is an experiential move and quite a good one. It was in this way more mature, I think. It took us deeper, as each of these steps has done. While the initial emphasis was analytical and that avenue served myself and many of you for quite some time, the development of these additional avenues has created a lot of awareness, I think, in my own world and my experience as well. And so what I've been sensing is a massive distillation of these various directions I've been moving. I have very clearly felt the call to confidently and completely, though gradually and graciously, release the analytical intent. It's clear that that's behind me at this point. And probably by virtue of our connection behind you. The educational content that I have been given the opportunity to share takes us much deeper than the hard work of analysis ever could. And so the forgotten sense somehow speaks to a layer far deeper, far more human, more profound than any of these other systems ever could. The experience of the crystal self revealed the importance of meeting regularly, of coming close, of cultivating relationship over time, of using the content of our ordinary lives to deepen what we've learned. And that is what has led me to this point, I do believe. <clears throat> Because the distillation of these many paths has condensed them to just two. One is education and the other is application. And even of these two, there is a surprising proportional uh, distinction between them in terms of where the emphasis will lie. For instance, I would go so far as to say that education makes up for perhaps less than 1% of what is truly, truly needed in this work. It's just the very beginning, just the opening, just the invitation. The point of education is to establish a shared groundwork, a foundation, a shared or common language that we can use when we take all that we've learned into our lives. But the better work, the true work, what will matter and transform us, it's found in this other track of application every time. And so for, for my part, I'd like to get in and out of education as quickly as we possibly can. And I'd like to invite each of you into application, into the stuff of our own life, into the soil of our everyday experience, okay? I have been thinking about uh, what might happen when you first open your eyes. And the fact of the matter is that life is in the seeing once your eyes have opened, right? Opening your eyes is a very, very necessary first step. <laughs> you cannot see until you've done this. And that's the point of education, really. But all the life and content, all the miracle and mystery and discovery and fun, it happens when you look around, when you use your eyes to see. For those of you who have joined me, I'm too excited over here. For those of you who have joined me, 
on this analytical avenue of support in the past, I want to thank you for the trust you've placed in me. Thank you for allowing me to use the very best of what I had to serve the best in you in all the best ways I was able at the time. I'd also like to invite you to step beyond that with me, to not get stuck in the trap of analysis paralysis or intellectual pursuit, but to use the best of everything we've found through application in real life. I invite you to the deeper understanding that I'm able to share in programs like The Forgotten Sense. And far, far more importantly, I invite you to step beyond that into a program of continual support that will be on this path of application I now serve. Up until this point, I don't believe I was equipped to serve in application. I didn't yet know how, and frankly, I still had to live so much of this out over time over this course of many, many years. It hasn't been a small amount of time, but we are here now. And I want for you to know that the greater work we're doing is in application, and this will require more of any one of you who chooses to join me on that path. It will require more in terms of time. We will not meet just once. We will meet weekly. It will require more of your attention and far more of your heart. It will require you to move beyond theory and ideas. It will serve an integration of the very best ideas you have found. That is what I'm doing. And so that is where I'm most equipped to serve. And so as I kind of close the books slowly but surely on these analytical services, I invite you to consider what is next. If you have not yet encountered the forgotten sense, please do reach out to me. Let's book that. These presentations, we can get in and out of them very quickly, but the content they deliver is profound and every single human being needs it. I mean that. They're the most important conversation we could have. All throughout the years, you've seen how practicality has remained a primary intention for me. Anything that I ever share or produce has that edge of practical intention, has it not? That's because this emphasis on practice is inherent to the work. Making use of what we've learned, it's all that matters in the end. Information is completely useless until we've discovered how to use it, how to use it in some real way, how to use it to improve our real lives our ordinary lives. So that is what we're here to do. That is what I'm here to do. And the sort of person who feels ready to engage that course of learning, the real stuff, the training, the dojo, the real life, you're the one that I am here to serve. And I could not be more ready or more proud or more excited to meet you and to serve you. Because this work requires more, it does mean that it's quite a bit more exclusive too. Uh, I may not be able to work with all of you at once. We may need to take turns. There may be a wait list. It will require more of you financially as well because we will be meeting over time, not just once, not just twice, but regularly for a length of time. But this is what it means to share a life, right? And when we share a life, we can in fact accelerate the learning side by side. And that is what I'm called to do. And that is what I'd like to invite you to think about as well. Life is going to call us deeper and deeper and deeper every single moment of the day. We're here to feel, experience, to taste and touch and live every single detail to explode ourselves wide open and to drink the gift of life that is available to us. Just, can you feel that? To drink it in, to savor and enjoy it. For those of you who feel prepared for that, who feel the call, the tone, the frequency of this recording, let's connect. Let's do this thing and take it deeper than we ever, ever have. I'm ready for you. Who among you feels prepared to join?